Hey guys, how are you? This is Adrian again. I'm here at the big, uh, well it's not really big, it's kind of like a really small puddle. It's not really a puddle either, but it's full of fish. As you can clearly see, there's a bunch of uh, blue catfish right there. A bunch of carps, blue carps, grass carps. There's some big catfish in here too. You can see them all just doing their thing. I've been here to fish before, but today I'm doing something different. All right, by different I mean, well, let me just show you. Today I brought a floating handle with my GoPro Hero 4, and this is for underwater filmage, okay? The next thing that I did is I brought this. All right. This is a custom-made GoPro mount uh, mask. You won't find or buy another one like this. I had to make this myself. What I did is I took a Liberator by uh, Tusa Tabata. It's a really good company. And I drilled a hole right there in the middle, quarter inch. And on the back of that, you can see that there's a bolt. That's a quarter inch by 20 bolt. It goes out about a quarter inch from the front. The way that I did it is I took the bolt and I ground down the head of it so it wouldn't push back against my forehead right here. So it's very comfortable. After the bolt was protruding forward through the hole, then I screwed on one of these aluminum GoPro mounts. This thing is pretty much indestructible. It's not going to fall apart. This is aluminum and also the splitter is aluminum. I bought that on eBay. What that allows me to do is it allows me to put two cameras or in this case, I've got a GoPro Hero 4 waterproof case and I've got a waterproof light up here. So you press the button once, lights up bright. Press it again, not so bright. Press it three times and it's strobing. I never use strobing. Anyway, so those are the modes for the light. And then below it, I've got a GoPro Hero 6. It's a black edition. See? Whatever I see, the GoPro is gonna see. And I've got the GoPro set to uh, wide, so you'll be able to see everything in here. And there is a lot to see. I was thinking I didn't want to get any water or anything like that on my um, snorkel. So I did a little bit of research and I figured out that you can actually make this a little bit longer. The standard snorkel length is about 12 inches, which would be about right here. This thing is almost two feet long, almost. The very limit is three feet because after you go under three feet into the water, the pressure from the water above you won't let your lungs expand. I found this out too. So this seems plenty deep enough for me to get into the water and show you all the fish that are down there. Just to make sure I wouldn't be breathing in any water as well, I also put one of these floating styrofoam things with some zip ties. This will keep the funnel, I mean the the snorkel above the water no matter what. Well, I capture all of the action with this. This is gonna be awesome. I hope these videos come out really good. I have it pointed right in the right position. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you all of these fish that are here. I'm gonna get up real close in their face. And then there's a log jam over there. You can see that uh, wood. I wanna get up in there and see if I can find some giant catfish. And by giants, I, I do mean they're pretty big. They're going to be pretty big catfish. They're not little catfish. Also, there's other spots in here, which I'm not going to swim in. Like right here in front of me, this could easily house a bunch of big catfish. I can see that there's a bunch of little minnows floating in there at the bottom. That's not what I'm after today. But yeah. I'm going to capture it all for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy the videos. Like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Tell your friends about me. Have a good day.